Hello everyone. This is Dr. Talari. Today I would like to talk about do's and do nots in the clinical exam. First I will be talking about do's. What are all the things you have to do? Um, sorry. Always appear professional. So you should be wearing a nice dress, have your bed shaved, comb your hair, nice polished shoes, if you have a suit, that's fine. If not, at least have a nice tie. But wear nice professional looking dress. Always think how a person will react if you wear all these things. And if you say, I'm a doctor, how he will, you know, interpret yourself as a doctor. Opposite to that, which I will be talking into knots, if you have that appearance, no one will think you are a doctor. And it's always good if you leave that professional appearance. And the other thing is have a nice approach. Do not jump from history to examination, examination to explaining the diagnosis, again coming from diagnosis to history taking. So don't jump in and out from each module of a case. I mean module is history taking, examination, investigations and diagnosis. Third important tip is be honest. Always be honest to the patient and examiner. If you're not sure, always tell I'm not sure. And if you're not sure, the other tip is ask for help. When you're not sure, if you say I'm not sure, I will check that with one of my senior doctors or I will call the obstetric registrar or I will call the pediatric registrar and take his advice. The examiners will love you. You should always say I'm not sure, I will check that and let you know but you should tell that in a professional way. And the other point is, do not say, I'm not sure, I will check that and let you know for all the things. You can tell that when you're not sure really or when the patient has a difficult question. So things like that. Now I'll be talking about do nots. I've already discussed about this one, looking unprofessional, like uh, wearing jeans, casual t-shirts, not shaving the beard, not wearing polished shoes, and having spikes and looking unprofessional. Just think of a person who comes to you in uh, wearing a jeans, t-shirt, uh, having some, you know, jewelry, having tattoos and um, unpolished shoes. And if he says, I'm a doctor, just imagine how you would react. So always look professional. And the other thing, as I already said, being disorganized, which is jumping from one module of the uh, case to other. For example, you take history and you think probably it's whooping cough. So you say, oh, this is whooping cough. And finally, you forgot to ask about immunizations. So you say, oh, this is whooping cough. Go home. This is the antibiotic. And again, you jump back to the history saying, oh, I forgot to ask you about the immunization status or I forgot to ask you whether you have fever. So things like that. So do not jump from one module to other. Have an organized approach. And the other important thing is not accepting mistakes. If you're not sure, as I already said, say, I am not sure, I will check that and let you know. And the other thing is not asking for help. If you're not sure, if you say, I'm not sure, I will check that, the examiner might still pass you if you have done the rest of the station well. But if you say a mistake, like uh, um, instead of saying, I'm not sure, if you say something which is wrong, that is a clear fail. At least you have the um, mercy of the examiner that he might pass you if you say, I'm not sure. This is a very good tip and this worked well for me. So I would think and I would advise everyone follow these tips and I wish this tip will be helpful to each and everyone. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video.